Well then, let's get started, shall we? Life is strange as normal kids. This will be the first time I'm doing a let's play of Life is Strange. And sorry about the backgrounds of my parrots. There's nothing I can do about that. But anyway, let's get started then, shall we? Let's start with a new game. I think that we do it is consequences. But please enjoy the game while well, I can do it for you. Obviously this will be a blind kind of game there so I don't know what I'm doing, please bear with me. Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> So surreal. Called film, little pieces of time, pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to kip to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Well, it's real because of her again. images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. It. She saw humanity as tortured, oh, right? On, and frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Hey. I can hear the class laughing at me now. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. And any one of you could do that to me. Oh, let's go for a selfie, shall we? Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people with the shh, shh, shh? I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. 
The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you <coughs> please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Hmm. You're assuming... You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all- If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Hmm. Can't really think much about that. Come on. What about him? In your textbook? Or even... Online. Hey guys, down. don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday <clears throat> Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> Well then, let's get started in the shoving. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Oh, she never does. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Oh, very cool. Look very crappy. Hi, Kate. Oh. I just Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't I embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. You She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Washing. Talk to you later. Sure. I don't want everybody to feel excluded from this process, oh, but well, no I thing. also want everybody to know that well, this photographic world is Jefferson? not for- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Hmm. Or do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max! You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Hmm. He does have a point. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Mrs. Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. All we do indeed. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Oh, well, no She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant pen. <sighs> Life is Strange, Episode 1 To all of you American girls It's sad to Imagine a world without you American girls I'd like to 
be part of the world around you Driving a car by the seaside Watching Empty, the world you could. Nobody can see my meltdown Except for me Well, we are going to see you so, you know <laughs> It's the last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, that's true. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. What you do, Max? What you truly do? Fuck it. Yeah, right, fuck it, alright then. Oh, it's a push line. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. <laughs> Sorry if I'm tired. Smell. Oh well, never mind then. <laughs> oh, we got a block in the women's bathroom. Oh, the excitement. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? Well, I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diana. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arbus? I love that she can come. What's the point, is it? I did it. Oh, it's all fake. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. Rob, I'm not. Anybody? Oh, Max. Don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why when artists? I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. <clears throat> what if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please 
tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first <coughs> self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Shit. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows this? Jefferson wants to keep me after Melissa class. Was a French painter. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind again process. and give him the right answer? Boy, have a face. My God. Max, since you've got you that. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max? Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Oh, thank God for that. Press control. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of her talk. Yeah, we go together, please. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? Dirty everywhere. <laughs> because if you send me a picture, I won't be bored. You suck. I don't mind the mop. I can't you make up your damn feet. I feel like a ghost. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. <clears throat> Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Well, sir, it's happening again. can. People trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, holy shit, I can't let this happen. 
No. If I can reverse time no, no, again, no, no, I can no. help her. There's plenty of time to it. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of pe people trying to control me. You are going to get in hell of I need a hammer to break it open. Drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! Let's run again. Oh, dear, dear. Ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! <laughs> Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. What? Well, I real. just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I, I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Hey, you sicko. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around. In the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. <laughs> so what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion Later, in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Hmm, not really. I wouldn't. Oh well. Never mind that. I'll see you all in part two.